Hi everyone, this is Shane R. Monroe, and today we're going to look at Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon. Just came out for your choice of console or PC, including the Switch, which is the version we're playing here. So, Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon is sort of a combination of a light RPG along with some sort of Tetris puzzle chain type gameplay. And it's really hard to uh, look at these sort of games in a video and say, gosh, you know, I don't know if the mechanics are going to work for me. You know, they can tell you, well, it's Tetris-like and it does this and it does that, but you really don't know unless somebody kind of watched you through the mechanics carefully to see if the mechanics work for you. So we're going to only look at adventure. There's some other modes, but the mechanics all work similar. So if you like the mechanics for adventure, you're probably going to be okay. So I've already been playing for a while, so there's no tutorial or anything here that we're going to walk through. I'm going to take you right into the game. So this is sort of your camp area, and there's a couple of guys that will give you clues, like this guy. Uh, there's another guy down here who will also give you clues if you run into him. And then there's this, I don't know what this ice thing is for, but you can break it apart and I don't know. I don't know what that's actually for. But there's also a store where you can open up other things. So this is what you can spend your cash upon, right? So you have different items in the store. Freeze time on room enter or when the board's nearly full. Fewer slain foes required to see exit. Fatal blows recovered to uh, HP at low health. So these are all things that you can buy. And a lot of these things uh, show up inside the game as something you can pick up. So it, I will go ahead and do Fatal Blow recovers two HP at low health, right? So now we have an unlock, a relic that's unlocked and it's now discoverable within the game. So that's how the store works. And sometimes you can visit the store in the middle of a match as well. So we're gonna go ahead and go uh, up here. We're gonna go ahead and venture forth. Each, uh, each area you'll play uh, from the beginning so I started off the game and I'm going to the planes first. Now this is a real time game, so I can't just stop and talk you through a lot of the basics. Uh, unfortunately, there's just, it, it makes it difficult. However, it does move slower when you're not moving. So we'll take advantage of that to show you around a little bit, but we might pause as well when we can. And there's some items on the top of the screen that might make sense to look at. So the goal here, if you look at the top where it says planes, you can see that my little knights all the way at the left, there are three treasure boxes and a door. That's the timeline that I'm going through to get to the door and finish the level. So you can see uh, as I move around, if I don't move at all, everything drops very, very slowly. As I start to move, everything is accelerated. There are enemies abound, right? And you can see I've got these little reddish guys. I've got some skeletons and I've got these dropping blocks. They will all continue to drop. They can't move any other direction other than down. When I move at something, I strike it and attack. You can see their hit points go down. I also took a hit. I will hit again. And you'll notice by hitting one, all of the connected ones were affected. So it's sort of a chain, right? Same thing would happen with these potions. If I were to hit one potion, all of them that are attached, and I would get the benefit of all of them. So when do you get attacked? I could be sitting right next to a whole bunch of guys and they're not attacking me. They only attack me when I attack them. So I'm gonna attack these guys, clean that up, get lots of gems and allow the screen to continue to move. I'm gonna heal up and I'm gonna attack the skeleton. Now they do quite a bit of damage. So you've gotta keep a real close eye. I'm gonna heal up and then I'm gonna finish them off. So a lot of times, most of these guys are pretty weak but occasionally you do have to do some practice in terms of how to set these guys up. Now I can't attack anybody or I'm dead. So I've got to wait for a potion. There's one, okay, and there's another one, perfect. There's a key, I'll come back to that. So I want to finish this guy off. Notice how he's still hurt, he doesn't regenerate. Now he's a dead man, or dead, again, skeleton. Now I'm gonna have some trouble taking care of that guy. Um, I'm pretty low now, so I'm gonna just kind of chill. I'm gonna grab my key. I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna open this chest and hopefully it gives me something good. Stops time for a while by pressing A. So I'll press A and time is stopped. And I've opened myself a nice little hole to get out of so that I can get up to my potions. Now I'm nice, I'm in good shape now, I'm all full. So look at this, I've got a really nice chain here to kill. Great. And there's my next chest. Look at the top, look at how I'm about halfway through now. So I'm gonna go ahead and clobber Okay, so I'm down to one hit. I gotta be careful not to hit anybody until I potion up. Good. All right, 
and we'll potion up again. There's my next key. And where's my next chest? Right next to me. All right, nice. We got a little power up there. Clo cleared out the area. I like that. Got some gems out of it. Let's see if I can finish those guys off. That was a nice little win right there. Slime, if, if I hit it, it leaves a pool behind. If I accidentally walk into the pool, I will uh, take it in the tailpipe and I will be, I will be uh, hurt badly. Bomb, activate the bomb, get out of the bomb's way, <laughs> right? So there's all sorts of these. Oh, look, there's my next key and my next chest. Perfect. Ah, long reach, pierces shields. This is great stuff. So now, let me go ahead and top myself off here. If I hit this potion, I'm gonna hit the red guy next to him, see? So now it's an extended attack. This is really good to hide um, and attack skeletons, like say through that potion. I take less of less damage by doing it through something else. Okay, let me go ahead and get myself topped off. See if I can open these guys up a little bit. Perfect, nice little chain. And I'm waiting for, there's my door and I'm waiting for a key. This big guy, explodes leaving da flaming damage, great. There's my key, and my door, and out I go. Level's complete. That's the basic mechanics. Now, obviously there are more monsters, bigger monsters, boss monsters, there are additional items to pick up, um, but the basic mechanics, that's the basic mechanics. That's what you do to play this guy. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna maybe talk a little bit less here. And there's my next uh, chest. Now you see you can destroy the chest if you wanna just get rid of it by hitting it. I wanna open it up because I want what's inside. Ah, look, we get a mini store. So as you can see, I have absolutely insufficient funds for anything here. But it's kinda nice that they give you an opportunity to hit the store sometimes. And uh, we got a new enemy there, the knight. He uh, dodges a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead before I take these guys on. Careful, let me top off. There we go, and they're dead. And I can go back to the store if I wanted to. Heal up. These guys above. Excellent. So you can see how this works. It's a, it's a, it's a fun, it is a fun piece of mechanic to play with. I'm gonna go ahead and get myself topped. I'm kind of waiting to take on the more armored guys until I get some more potions here. Okay, get that open. Freeze hits uh, on foes, perfect. So if I hit them, they freeze, allowing me, allowing them not to dodge me, and I can clean their clocks a little easier. This is a very nice item to have. I can do a lot more damage and clean the board off a little bit because I'm starting to get a little tight here. Ooh, I'm also almost dead. All right, let me top off. Nah, my freeze ran out. Got to get my potions. Ooh. Not who I was looking for. I'm gonna need to do something a little quicker here. This is not gonna be good for me soon. Oh, there's a nice bomb if I can get out. Crap. Can't get out. Dead. All right, well listen, I mean, we could sit all day and talk about it, but if you're just looking for a quick look at the mechanics to see if this is the sort of game for you, that's really it. Now, again, as I mentioned before, we could do a quick restart, which would keep us on uh, these, this Pride More Keep level, or we could return to camp where it says there's new additions. I could go back to the camp and maybe I could pick up something different from the store that might help me out. Um, or I could just be done for the day, whatever. But now if I were to go back out, I don't get to start where I left off. I have to go back to the plains and we start over again. So now we're going back to the plains. So return to camp at your, uh, at your leisure, but do understand it'll reset your progress. All right, well, listen, I hope you enjoyed this. This is a really quick look. I mean, I didn't want to sit here and talk endlessly about it, but I think you have an idea as to what the mechanics are like, how the game is played, and whether or not it'll be for you. It's available for $20 Steam on your favorite console, including the Nintendo Switch. I'm Shane Armonroe. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care, and we'll see you next time.